Many continue to believe that China's rapid economic development is responsible for a large proportion of the world's carbon emissions. However, a report just released by the international organization the Climate Group claims that China is now in the midst of a clean revolution. It says China is already one of the world's largest producers of renewable energy. China this year became the world's largest emitter of greenhouse gases, just overtook the United States. So it's clear that if we're going to have any chance of success in dealing with the climate change problem, it's going to have to involve China in the same way that it has to involve the US, it has to involve Europe, it has to involve Russia. So as one of the concerns has been that China, as a country that's developing fast, whose energy use is growing fast, has emissions that are way out of control. And that's been often used by, as an excuse by the United States predominantly, but also by Europe and other industrialized countries, for not taking action. Because they say, well, what's the point of us taking action if China's going to carry on emitting? And this report shows that China's quite significantly bending its curve in terms of emissions. Emissions are growing much more slowly than economic output. And there's a lot of potential for it to cut emissions with appropriate support in the future. China's declining per capita carbon emissions is largely down to investment policies which have diverted over 12 billion US dollars into renewable energy projects. It has the largest uh, quota, uh, share of renewable energy in its energy supply already. A lot of hydro, which we've heard a lot about in the past, but also growing uh, use of wind and solar resources. On the production side, it is the world's producer of, largest producer of solar panels, fifth largest of wind energy. So it's expanding on a whole range of fronts. And then even on the more traditional fossil fuels, all its new plants are amongst the most efficient in the world for coal-fired power stations. And it's looking at low-carbon transport, electric bicycles, and a whole range of low-carbon options. China has also discovered that the clean revolution has a beneficial spin-off. Interestingly, many of the opportunities in energy efficiency, but also in the renewable and other low carbon, part of, low carbon parts of the economy, tend to generate more jobs per dollar or one invested than in the traditional parts of the economy. So it can not only be beneficial in productivity terms, but also in, in creating jobs. The developed world has an opportunity to contribute to China's clean revolution by insisting that its goods for export are produced using low carbon emission processes and energy. Somewhere between a fifth and a third of China's emissions, depending on how you measure them, uh, are accounted for by products that are exported to the West. So our, our consumer pattern, our consumption patterns are responsible for, for those emissions in a way. Though of course one has to remember that China benefits economically and in employment terms from, from those expo exports. So one, one way that we can help drive the, the growth of the low carbon economy in China is by setting standards for the goods that we use. While China is the biggest carbon gas emitter in the world, its per capita carbon emission rate remains below those of some developed world countries. China's emissions per capita are still only a quarter of those in the United States. And the challenge is to enable Chinese people to have the same level of well-being, the same level of development, without the same level of carbon emissions. Now, there's already evidence that that's possible because Europe and Japan have similar quality of life as the United States with around half the emissions per capita. So the potential is certainly there. And China, uh, Japan and Europe did that using traditional technologies based on fossil fuels. China's transition to a low carbon economy is well underway and is being driven by policies that encourage innovation in low carbon technologies and large scale investment in energy efficiency.